Thank you, Elise. Let's get into what's popping now. And everyone's talking about this this morning. Serena Williams introduced her newborn daughter to the world on Wednesday. Aww. The tennis superstar posted this photo on Instagram with herself and her baby girl. In the caption, Serena wrote, meet Alexis Olympia Ohanian, Ohanian Jr. Williams gave birth to Alexis September 1st. She weighed 6 pounds, 14 ounces. This is Williams' first child with her fiance, Reddit co-founder Alexis Ohanian. Oh, beautiful picture. Late night host Stephen Colbert is gearing up for another role, hosting the 2017 Emmy Awards. The gig comes after a great year for Colbert with the election of President Trump. CBS late show host, or I'm sorry, CBS late show has shifted its focus to political humor and seen viewership uh, rise. The former com Comedy Central star has now ellipsed the Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon as the most watched program, erasing a deficit of 800,000 viewers, allowing the network to bill The Late Show as being number one. The Emmy Awards will air September 17th at 8 p.m. Eastern on CBS. Josh Duggar and his wife Anna are welcoming their fifth child, son Mason Garrett, was born Tuesday. And according to a post on the family's blog, mom and baby are doing well. Josh is the eldest of the 19 Duggar children whose lives have been chronicled on the TLC reality show. Two years ago, the eldest Duggar seen here with his sister Jill entered a Christian rehab. That's after he revealed he molested some of his sisters and was unfaithful to his wife. Josh and Anna announced their fifth pregnancy in a post on their blog, and they talked about the challenges they face trying to save their marriage, saying rebuilding after a breach of trust is never easy. Oh. 50 years after their first on-screen pairing in Barefoot in the Park, Robert Redford and Jane Fonda are starring in their fourth film together, the late-in-life love story, Our Souls at Night, based on the best-selling novel. It debuts in limited release and is on Netflix starting on September 29th. Well, another honor for Nicole Kidman, the Oscar-winning actress, is set to be honored at this year's Gotham Awards, an annual ceremony focusing on independent films. She'll receive the tribute at the award ceremony November 27th in New York. And Willie Nelson is the latest celebrity out to raise money for Hurricane Relief. Harvey Can't Mess with Texas, a benefit concert for Hurricane Harvey Relief, is scheduled for September 22nd in Austin. Willie, a uh, Texas native, has roped in such stars as, get this, Bonnie Raitt, Paul Simon, and James Taylor to join him with the four-hour concert, part of which will air on Texas TV stations and live stream on YouTube. In the late Carrie Fisher's final memoir, The Princess Diaries, she made a bombshell revelation that she was involved in an affair with Harrison Ford during the production of 1977's Star Wars Episode IV, A New Hope. Now, after 10 months, Ford has broken his silence about Fisher's memoir. In an interview with GQ magazine, Ford admits that he expected to be criticized for the affair and, he, and that Fisher gave him plenty of warning about the announcement. Wow. Well, <laughs> that is really interesting news, you know? I mean, I didn't know about that, yeah. so that was a shocker. Uh,